What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and as you can see this is my little rigged up filet station I got going on here. I have my little coffee table and this massive white Margate. Some people refer them to as white snapper. Um, I've never eaten them before. I'm super excited. I've heard they're just like a porgy or even a snapper. Um, just a super white meat. So we're going to fillet this fish. I'm going to show you guys in Key West underwater shooting this fish as well as a few other fish. I actually did not think this fish was a white Margate when I shot it, not gonna lie. I went under the ledge and I thought it was a grouper because all I saw was like this back half of the fish because I didn't have a flashlight. So I saw this half right here and it was under a dark ledge and it kind of like swim back into the ledge and you only have about like four seconds if that to shoot a fish before they see you and spook off. So I just made the shot. I knew whatever fish it was, it was big. I knew it wasn't a Goliath because Goliaths have rounded tails. I saw the fork in the tail. So I was like, all right, it's a snapper or a grouper and it's big enough to be legal. So I made the shot, but I'm gonna show you guys that footage in a minute. But first we're gonna fillet this fish. I did shoot him in Key West, but I didn't say that already. I went down to Key West to shoot wahoo however i didn't get my wahoo unfortunately but i did shoot a beautiful dolphin which is what we call them here in florida um puerto rico they call them dorado uh costa rica they call them dorado uh, worldwide they're well known as a mahi mahi so i was super stoked on that not gonna lie these fish have massive scales so while I'm cleaning this white snapper, aka white margate, I'm going to take it back to Key West where we're spearfishing on the reef. It's about 35 feet deep, beautiful water where I shoot a few fish and also Aaron Young, dibs on bottom, aka Key West Waterman, shoot some fish as well on this reef. So y'all check this out. What's up to you? Does it, does it make you happy? <laughs> does it bring you joy? Kelly, come back here. We're, there's this cave back here I want you to swim into. It'd be cool for filming. Oh, about took my head off. <laughs> coming in again. <laughs> Really? I believe it. It's a black group, huh? <laughs> oh, I couldn't help myself. It's a problem. Hey, I was supposed to get the first black. Well, you snoozed and loosed. Oh, you're on the snorkeling trip. Look at this frigate. Guys, look at this frigate right here. Look at that. How cool.
a grouper. <laughs> Swimming around. I just saw his. I just saw the body and the tail, and I just took a shot. I'm like, whatever it is, it's legal. They taste like snappers. This current has picked up. Big old white marking. So I went. I went and looked under the ledge, hoping it was a grouper. And you normally, when you look under ledges, like you have about two seconds to shoot before the fish is gone. So I literally just saw the bass, because I didn't have a flashlight. I saw the bass and then the tail. And I'm like, I think it was a grouper, but I just shot it, because whatever it was, it was legal. Well. Look at the size of it compared to the grouper. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's as big as Dib's black grouper. Oh my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I hit him either. <laughs> So check this out, he's got some scars on him too, as you can see right here. Some healed scars on both sides. So it looks like either, probably a shark tried to get him. I don't know what else that would be. A little shark's on both sides, Shh, just right there. He's got some big old rubber lips. Well, we got a nice mahi, nice yellowjack. White Margate, aka the White Snapper, and Dibs Black Grouper. Dang, that's a pretty nice yellowjack. <laughs> Where's the grouper? So back here? Yeah. Dang, he gutted it and everything, too. Slowly but surely filling the box. I'm cleaning a uh, what's it called? Triple tail. Okay, so I did have to opt out and get a bigger knife just because this fish has some scales that I had to work through. But check this out. Set this right here, real quick. This meat looks like honestly. like redfish. Redfish mixed with like a snapper. It's pretty neat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the skin off right here. I'll tell you what, it's kind of hard to do this sitting down. I'm so used to like standing up filleting fish. I'm not liking the sitting down aspect. Gut bucket ready. Now I'm just gonna trim off anything I don't want. Like there's a little bit of skin there. Boom. Take out them pin bones right here. Finley's looking at me in the sliding glass store like, Mom, why can't I come out here? Finley would be all up in the knives, all up in the gut bucket of the fish. He would be everywhere. Just take that bloodline out right there. I just kind of make like a little triangle incision. Cut that out. There you go. There's your nice big old fillet of white Margate. I'm gonna go ahead and fillet the other side. I actually have a yellow jack in here that I have to fillet as well. I actually showed this fish in the last Key West video, uh, I believe the thumbnail has a big mahi-mahi on it. Um, that's where I showed that fish. Within 20 seconds of jumping into the water, two yellowjack just swim by and I'm like, <sighs> those are probably one of my favorite fish to shoot just because they're so, they're so easy and they're almost always available if you spearfish the reef. And they're such good fish to eat. They're absolutely amazing to make ceviche with. All right, switching it up, gotta fly the other side. I have my Gator coolers here. Uh, only cooler company I use 
They're amazing, amazing coolers. I have some paper towels and ice down here. I'm putting the fillets in. And then I'm going to vacuum seal them in my Outrigger Outdoors vacuum sealer, which I also have a promo code for them as well. Um, a lot of products that I use that I, that I live by and that I really do like um, in the description. You'll see everything there with promo codes for you guys to get a discount. Before we get to cooking this white snapper, I would like to give a huge shout out to Husk for sponsoring today's video. This knife made from a high quality Japanese inspired stainless steel features a rustic style handle and a 38 degree blade. Made from a high quality Japanese inspired stainless steel, this knife features a rustic style handle and a 38 degree blade edge for extreme sharpness. Husk knives come out of the box razor sharp, so they'll stay that way for years. The curved blade with a grip hole enables better precision and handling to make chopping and cutting easy. It has a sharp blade so the knife won't slip. It's light, durable, and sturdy. The Husk knife is great for outdoor activities, so you can throw it in your backpack, the boat, the car, the truck, your camper, anywhere you're going, you can always take it on the go and use it for when you need it. You can try Husk risk-free and it shares a 30-day money-back guarantee. And currently for my viewers, Husk is running a 70% discount for these authentic Japanese knives. The deal will not last long, so go in the link in the description below this video and check out these awesome knives. All right, back to cooking our white snapper. I went ahead and cut our fish into finger-sized pieces, and we have our little mixture here. We have some backyard chicken eggs, which I'm going to add a little bit of mayo to this wash. Get in there. I'm gonna mix that up. I got one hand on the camera, one hand in front of the camera. We have some flour and some panko with chopped parsley. I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning in our flour here. Just like that. Give it a little mix. And I'm actually gonna bake this fish in the oven. And I give it a little more. Open. There we go. Voila. Mix it up. Mixing up the mayo and egg as best I can with one hand without spilling it. So a really fun fact is if I bake chicken in the oven or even fry chicken, if you cover it in like a mayo, chicken comes out real juicy. Good enough, good enough. I cut up some beets, but I've been eating them as like an appetizer. I love beets. I think they're so good. But for some reason, like I have bought beets and made them, like boiled them, and they do not taste the same. I find these at Publix, ready to eat cooked beets, and they're so flippin' good. All right, we take our fish, got a little flour, boom. Give it a little shake, a little egg wash and mayo. Let it drip. Those are all my eggs, by the way, from my chickens. And last but not least, dip it in that parsley and panko. Just like that. With my messy hands, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil in here. Rub it around. That way my fish don't stick to my pan. And lay our fish in. And repeat steps till all the fish is done. Super, super excited to try white Margate. I have never eaten it before. I heard it tastes like snapper, so super stoked. Let it drip. Beautiful. And panko it up. Pretty sure if you make anything in panko, it's bound to taste good. Get the sides. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, I'm so stoked. You guys. Beats are so good. All right, so this video actually, when I shot uh, this fish, it's probably been about a month since my Keys trip. And I've had this fish in the vacuum sealer in my freezer for about a month. 
So I opened the bag, I defrosted the fish yesterday and opened it. Absolutely no fishy smell whatsoever. And that's how you know the vacuum seal bags work. Just to keep you guys updated, when this video goes live on YouTube, um, I will have one day left in Costa Rica until I fly back to Florida. Um, but right now filming it, I'm actually headed to Costa Rica in three days. I'm gonna be spear fishing. Uh, three days spear fishing, one day waterfall. I can't wait. I've never been to Costa Rica before. This is a new experience for me. I'm super stoked. Um, and then after Costa Rica, I have a really exciting trip, which I'll probably talk about it in Costa Rica and let you guys know then. But for now, it's a little bit of a secret. Um, going February 1st through the 14th. It's a really long trip, um, but I'm super excited. A little nervous, but really excited. But as for Key West, you really can't top Key West. Key West is just one of my favorite places ever. Um, and before this video, probably about a year, year ago, year and a half ago, um, I actually shot my first Wahoo with Dibs, Aaron Young, Key West Waterman. Um, there's so many names nowadays. You have the Instagram names, the YouTube names, the actual name. Uh, Key West Waterman on YouTube is his, is his uh, YouTube channel. Shot my first Wahoo with him. And it was, it was pretty epic, not gonna lie. Like, <clears throat> the way my Wahoo hunt went down normally doesn't happen like that. I jumped in the water and within five minutes, a, just a massive school of Wahoo swam by. I actually dove down on the first Wahoo and it was a little bit of a far shot and I didn't take it. Thank God I didn't take it because sure enough, right behind that other, the first school was another one. And that's the Wahoo I landed. So, first Wahoo with dibs, first big ol' big bull mahi from Florida. I've shot peanut mahi um, off the coast of Florida before, but never a big one. And that mahi I shot was a nice one. We got one more piece of fish left. I'm super excited. I just got back from the gym, so I'm starving. And while I'm battering this last fish, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, um, I took my mom to the Peace River. We went paddleboarding. I'm sorry, we went canoeing. And we also went to an elephant ranch and gave an elephant a bath, which was pretty cool. Um, I'd say if you have kids, definitely do it. It's such a cool experience. And it really gave me a new look on elephants. I mean, as weird as it sounds, like when you looked into their eyes, it was kind of magical. They were really cool animals, but that's my last video, you guys. Be sure to check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and then we're gonna eat it. While we're waiting for that fish to cook, I'm going to give my chicken some of the scraps. Just got some scraps I've been collecting over the past few days. The rest of the egg wash. I have to give them, give the food to them in their coop because Finley will eat it. There you go, chickens. There you go, make a mess. Go ahead. They actually love eggs. Sorry, Finn. Get out of here. Eh, trying to lock it. There we go. Hey, hey, Finley, no, sir. He's like, wait a minute. I want some cookies. <laughs> Finley, crazy dog. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why are you being a psycho? Excuse me. No. What is wrong with you? All right, he's feeling some type of way that I gave the chickens food and not him. Finley, you crazy. Look, look what I got. Look what I got. You ready? Are you ready? Go get it. Crazy dog. This is looking crispy to perfection right now. Oh my gosh. All right, last but not least, a little touch of lemon and going to dig in. Oh, that looks so good. Cheers. It's hot. I don't even see the steam coming out of my mouth. Woo! I thought I let it cool down, but I guess I didn't because that was steaming hot. But this fish 
is freaking good. I would definitely shoot another one of these. It's like steaming. I don't know if you can even see it. Mmm. Oh, panko is the bomb. So good. For right now, this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment below. Be sure to check out Husk Knives in the description below. You'll see the link. Check it out, 70% off. Can't beat it. But I got a pack for Costa Rica. It is gonna be an insane trip. I'm super excited. I've been wanting to travel to Costa Rica and make videos for a very long time. And I'm finally doing it, so super stoked. You guys will see everything in Costa Rica in the following videos. So right now, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.